What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I am Rachel Photon. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. In this reading, you all, we're going to see what the universe wants you to know, get some possible outcomes and some wisdom to help you make the best out of your situation. All right. Remember, you all, not everything may resonate with you. With that being said, lay do it. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know? Let's see, y'all. Let me know how y'all been doing down in the comments section, you all. Thank y'all for the love and support. I appreciate all the donations that you all give me. You all remember the only way to um, send money is through my website, www.rachelphoton.org. That's the only place that I accept donations, you all, right? Thank y'all for all those birthday wishes. Thank y'all for the love, for real. It's awesome, okay? Now, let's see. What does the universe want you to know? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if y'all see this first word, wow. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Mm. So it looks like in this situation, um, for some of y'all, there's something that somebody thought you wouldn't find out about them. Okay. Some kind of issues that they may have. And if you experience somebody not being loyal to you, this could be one of the reasons why they weren't loyal to you. Because of some sort of issue they may have that they were hoping that you wouldn't find out about. You could have even tried to show this person, um, you know, what it, what it means to be a true friend or what it means to be a true uh person that's really there for them or that has really got got their back or that's really looking out for them you could even gave them some sort of divine guidance or some sort of divine support of some sort or they may see you as having the ability to provide them with some sort of divine guidance or some sort of divine support You have been receiving divine guidance and divine support. This is what has been helping you to overcome whatever um, issues you may have needed to overcome. You could have been trying to show someone the value of getting some sort of divine guidance or some sort of divine support. And it's almost like you're nervous about helping somebody or being involved with someone because of something that they did where it showed you that they weren't loyal or they weren't, that they were hiding something from you.
Somebody was trying to conquer you. They have an obsession with conquering you. That's fucking crazy. That's... <laughs> okay. Now, that could be like... A nefarious type of conquering or that could be they see you as like a trophy as something to win or win over or they have to like be in control that could be maybe they have control issues If they can't control you, they're not loyal to you. That's crazy. Or they don't see you as loyal to them if they can't control and manipulate you. They see that as like a fucking form of disrespect, y'all. What? <laughs> what? All right, but it looks like if this person was nefarious, this is the card that came out um, for you guys, okay? It says safe from harm. Someone is safe from harm. So it looks like um, if somebody was, did have some kind of nefarious, you know, intentions towards you, you're safe from whatever it is that they are doing. Or what they have going on. Some of y'all, you help somebody. And you're being told that they're safe. They're not in harm's way. You could have gave them or prayed for some sort of divine guidance for them. Or some sort of divine support. For others of you. Again, you have overcome some sort of issues. Or you're in the process of overcoming these issues. You could have been trying to inspire somebody or show somebody how you did it. They could have tried to take advantage of your kindness. They could have even saw your kindness as a weakness. They thought that they could conquer you. But they acted like they were they were gonna act like they're really for you until that they could find a way to conquer you or something like that. Or so that they could find a way to conquer you. They could have been trying to do this by making you um embarrassed about yourself or making you feel like you couldn't be kind and generous to people, or by making you um hate yourself or by trying to make you not see the value and what it is that you were doing somebody can't conquer you and others of you, you were able to conquer some sort of issues that you had or that you were dealing with. You're trying to help somebody else conquer theirs or you did help them. And somebody thought you wouldn't find out about something. Possibly about the real reason they were dealing with you. I do see here, though, that there's something in your life that you're looking forward to with happiness. Something that makes you very happy. Okay. The divine could be protecting you.
Yeah, you're very brave. You're very brave. You're very brave. And someone's gonna realize that um if they if they chose someone and not you, that person was the wrong choice. You could be realizing that you you the person that you could have chose may not be who you thought that they were because they were like hiding or lying who they were. Somebody may have hoped that they could have been like trying to get you to um fall in love with them or or in, invest your all into them or be like everything for them or something only to then like leave you in the dust like they had some of you for some of y'all this person had a, an obsession with like so say humbling you or like having control over you or putting you in your place or like They have some sort of vendetta against you or, but you didn't, like what I'm seeing here, you legitimately did nothing wrong to this individual. A lot of whatever this is that they think you did wrong to them is nonsense that they're creating in their mind. You could have left this person for some of y'all and this person is um, really bothered. They made the wrong choice. They made the wrong choice. They thought something else was going to make them happier than what they were feeling or experiencing with you. So this could be somebody else separate or something like that. This person could be addicted to a certain feeling. Or like being in power and control makes them feel alive. Or it makes them feel like they're on top of the world or like they're... Everything and more. For some of y'all, this person wanted bragging rights or bragging points or something. And didn't and thought you wouldn't find out about it or or that. And so like, okay, so there's there's a situation where there's somebody that wanted bragging rights or bragging points with you. They acted like they were really they, they really wanted something real with you and that they cared about you. They loved you. But really, they were just trying to conquer you because they have some sort of addiction or some sort of, like, need to feel superior or to feel in control or to feel on top of somebody. Um, but then you have other one, which also could be the same person, but there's somebody else who made the wrong choice. They either could have sided with that person and thought that person wasn't doing anything wrong or... They could have, um, they could have been trying to, like, trying to literally, like, manipulate you. But you caught, you, you realize what they were doing because they got too arrogant or they got too cocky or they got too something. You realize that they're not right for you or they're not what you wanted or. They could have been intentionally trying to waste your time. For others of you, you're no longer wasting your time with people who aren't loyal, with people who aren't real, who aren't true, who aren't legit. Whoever these people are that you let go of or you're moving on from, they're going to be looking pitiful, y'all. When they see you winning.
This person could have done something and they were upset. Or somebody could have uh, done something they were upset. Because they couldn't manipulate you or they couldn't control you or they couldn't conquer you or something. And they did something and now they're, they regret like how they acted towards you. Or like you saw, it's like somebody was putting on a front, y'all. Like they were acting like they're just this kind, nice, generous, loving, so on and so forth person. Or they're really for you. Or they don't have no ulterior motives and all this stuff. And um, it's like when, when you decided to step outside of their control or their do something your way or think your way or so, it's something that person got bothered. Like they got so upset about it and they could have like been real disrespectful towards you or they could have treated other people wrong because of you but it's not your it's 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 because of how they are It's like for some of y'all, somebody wants you to forgive them for taking out something on you, their anger, they could have blamed you for something that went wrong or something that was going on in their life, or somebody could have been manipulating them. Then they try to blame you. For it. Someone was nervous about your intuitive gifts or abilities. They got, they thought. They they were nervous that you would find out about, also for some of y'all, like, something that they did when they were angry at you. Somebody definitely found out something in this situation that really changed their perspective or their view on you. Somebody really could have been thinking thinking that you would go for some sort of nonsense that they were trying to run on you or they thought you were somebody that you're not. Or they thought you were responsible for something that you weren't responsible for. And they could have treated you some type of way. Oh man, they're realizing like. They should have never done that. It's like they weren't thinking about. Why you were doing the things that you were doing, they just judged you for the things that you were doing. For some of y'all, they may have tried to say that you were lazy or 
you're the reason why things don't go right for you or don't go right for others or you don't really care about so, like it's something like that and it's not true like they were looking from the outside they don't understand what the real deal is and they could have like judged you or made choices based off of that or treated you some type of way because of that or something like that Again, if this is somebody that was trying to control how you behave, how you think, how you do, it's like, again, they could have thought that you were like somebody that was kind, sweet, that they could take advantage of and they realized that they couldn't because you saw, you saw what it was or your intuition is extremely strong. They thought that they could like manipulate you into downplaying your own greatness or into not shining or into not seeing what you do as valuable or to not go after something that would make you very powerful. Or to not um, believe in some sort of information, knowledge, or wisdom that you had been gaining. Or something, y'all. And you're being told that you're brave. It's like somebody was trying to really put either put their own fears onto you. Or they were trying to... Um, yeah, that could, be, that could be what it is. Like, this person has a problem with control. Like, they... They may even get like nervous or afraid when they're not in control of something or when they can't control you or control. So it's like they'd rather like do not so good things to you or want not so good situations for you just so that they can be in power and control and and be okay and not being, you know, anxious about something or feeling like they don't have no control or whatever. Then you have another person, or this could be another side of this other individual, who, like, they're realizing they can't do that to you anymore. They can't hold you down anymore. They realize if they keep doing what they're doing, they're going to lose you for good. Like, you're not ever going to want to be involved with them anymore or deal with them or nothing. They don't want you to be as extravagant as you are. You were meant to shine bright. You were meant to, like, be something great to a lot of people. You've been working on your emotional health. For some of y'all, if you let that person go or moved away from that situation, your emotional health has improved tremendously. That person may have a problem dealing with their emotions. They may feel things very strongly and intense. <clears throat> they think certain things are more intense than they are or they just feel more than others or they get nervous. It's like somebody has like a... Anxiety, like they have anxiety about letting you be free or letting you do things the way you want to do things, or they just got this need to control. You're being told to prepare for a beautiful and prosperous future, y'all. If you weren't feeling emotionally stable in the past, you would definitely feel more emotionally healthy, more emotionally um secure. Okay, you're overcoming some sort of in insecurities. Or you may be meant to help others overcome their insecurities. That could be part of your divine mission. So that they can become more powerful. So that they can access more of who they truly are. So that they can tap more in tune with the divine. You could have some sort of supernatural gifts or abilities. You may be studying the supernatural. Or you're very attracted to it. Somebody sees you as supernatural and extravagant. They may have thought you were lying about who you are or how you are. Or they could have thought you were putting up a front like they do. But you're actually like legit. 
Sudden wealth, wow. Supernatural sudden wealth. Prepare for a beautiful and prosperous future, wow. This is because you overcame your insecurities. Those insecurities could have something to do with your supernatural gifts and abilities. Maybe you didn't want to be seen as weird, as odd, as different, as, you know, maybe you don't want to deal with all the bullshit that goes along with, it, you know, showing your genius or showing your supernatural gifts and abilities. But because you embraced this and you trusted the universe, this is going to allow you to attract and manifest wealth, baby. Emotional health, wellness and stability, power, influence. Okay, you're being told to be shameless. Don't shame yourself. It sounds like somebody wanted you to feel shameful or shame, feel shame for being great. No. Mm hmm. Don't be ashamed of the good that you rightfully deserve. If you're doing better without somebody, don't feel bad or guilty about that. If they're distraught and you're moving forward and moving on, okay, you're being told you still have all kind of life to live, baby. All kind of awesome, uh, beautiful, amazing, uh, exciting things to experience. The universe may want you to experience like more in life, so it may start to actually like work to help you achieve sudden wealth it feels you're worthy you're you you're worth it okay you you've gone above and beyond when it comes to fulfilling your divine missions okay but you're being told to keep this a secret or don't really tell people about this wealth that you're gaining or how you're gaining it All right. Continue to use every day to the best of your abilities and um, really try to seize the day. Make the most out of your day. Make the most out of your life. Supernatural extra extravagant people are not meant to be, you know basic you're just not embrace it you're being told that working alone at this time will attract more success for you you have a keen sense of reality you definitely have a lot of options many options many ways to uh Attract or manifest wealth. Have, com have confidence in what you do. Okay. So you're being told when you start to allow yourself to really be happy, um, really just be content, excited, looking forward to the future, um, loving how you create your reality and how much um, power you have, etc. Becoming happy to build your inner world. It won't be a coincidence when you start to see that inner world manifest outside. When you start to see happy things around you or start to be able to experience happy, you know, exciting, loving passionate, uh, whatever it is that you look forward to experiencing type situations. You're being told people, you may start to become so successful that people are gonna, people are gonna wonder if you're a part of the secret society or if you're doing something messed up to gain that money or 
etc etc like that's just what comes with the territory so if you're willing to deal with people misjudging you but the thing is it's like they misjudge you even when you didn't have shit so what's the fucking difference you may have to deal with people who are overly competitive This will also, like, not to say that you have to compete against these people, but just be aware that you're, you're, people are trying to put you in competitions, right? And you know what's really crazy? If people are, like, trying to, like, put you in competitions or com secretly competing with you or whatever, it's to their own, like, it it's silly. It's so silly. It's like you're not even competing with them. They make up a competition and you still win the competition that they made the fuck out. Yo. <laughs> Some people are mad. They say it's not fair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo. Don't get caught up in being overly competitive, okay? That's also what you're being told. Because somebody wants you to get caught the fuck up thinking that you, you have to compete with a motherfucker that ain't even in the competition. They're not even on your level. So why would you even have to try to compete with them? Because <laughs> there's no fucking, there's just no, there's no reason for it, okay? Continue to stay dedicated to um, your source, your power, your um, spirit guys, spirit beings, extra dimensional team that are all for your benefit, highest good, right? Um, if you want, you know, if being dedicated to God is your thing, continue to do that because apparently it's working for you, all right? Being righteous is working for you, all right? Yeah, you may witness these, these, whatever, this, these, these people that need, a, uh, they need some more learning. That's what they need. Mm hmm Like I said, either once you master your emotions or because you have mastered your emotions, this is going to be very, very beneficial for you. And this is one of the major ways that you will be able to attract and manifest success for yourself, baby. So with that being said, y'all, okay, have fun. Stay stay away from what broke you in, in order to heal, okay, for some of y'all. Somebody really just did a number on you, okay, um, stay away from that. All right. Allow yourself to heal. Allow your soul to heal. Okay. Um, you may start to attract people who feel like their soul feels at home with you. Okay. Um, they feel at home with you. They love you. All right. Make sure you're listening to music. If you're listening to any kind of music that empowers you. Okay. That makes you feel good about yourself. Feel good about your life. Okay, that makes you want to get up, get out, and do great things, okay? Continue using your skills wisely, all right? You are a fast learner. Use that to your advantage, okay? And as long as you continue to love yourself, treat yourself with respect, stand up for yourself, do what you got to do, the universe will keep doing that for you as well, y'all. And with that being said, I love y'all. I wish y'all the best with this situation. And I will see you soon.